It is so bright outside right now. The lighting looks perfect. I'm just blind now. Hey guys, and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. I can't see. I'm trying to push through it. But welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is really exciting because we are going to do another DIY project. This is actually a first for me, and you guys can probably already see what we're gonna be working on today. But this is a first for me because I have never refurnished. Is that the right word? I don't even know the right word for it, but I've never refurbished, furbished, furnished. Let me go ask Frank because he would know. Is it refurbished or refurnished? Uh, refinished. Refinished? Yeah. Refurnished, finished, furbished. We are going to be refinishing the dresser today. So we actually got this dresser, let me move out of the way so you guys can actually see it. We got this dresser from Frank's mom and I think she's had it for a while. I think since Frank and his brother were kids, I think. I just know she's had it for a while. She has a room now for the grandkids when they sleep over. For when the grandkids sleep over, they have a bed and toys and everything in there. But she asked us if we wanted this one. I think she's getting a new one or got a new one, I don't know. But I said yes. We've been actually needing to get Aria a new dresser. The dresser that she currently has, we've had since, or I've had since Nolan was a baby in his room over, well, seven years ago. So we definitely needed to get her a new one. And Nolan actually saw the dresser and said, hey, I want this dresser because the dresser that is in his room is really, really tall and technically he can only get to the bottom three drawers because there's a total of four and then two small ones and I was like are you sure because we were going to refurnish it and put it in Aria's room he's like yes I want this dresser so we decided okay we're going to give him this dresser kind of basically swap dressers again I feel like we're always swapping dressers um the one that's in Nolan's room will go into Aria's room which would be perfect because she is taller and because of the way her room is situated to be the perfect size and then this one would fit in Nolan's room so what we're going to do what our plans are because right now it's painted this gray color so we are going to sand that which is what this is up here like I was saying I'm going to have Frank help me with that because I've never sanded anything in my life well except for like the block sanders but I've never used anything like that so he's gonna help me and show me how to do that so that will be interesting and then we are going to paint it completely paint it and then also get some new knobs as well we've been putting this off for a couple days now so I'm ready to get started so first things first is we've got to take out all of the knobs knobs or knobs these are knobs same thing, right? Also, another thing, because I only got single knobs like these right here, because of these drawers right here, you can see there's two holes. I could not find, at least on Amazon, I didn't look anywhere else. These are inch and a half away from each other. I couldn't find pools for an inch and a half. So I'll put a small dowel in here, cut it, glue it, cut it, and then come over here directly across, make sure it's straight, drill a hole, then we should be good. Yes. I think all I'm gonna do to it is like sand it down to where it's smooth like a smooth finish and then paint it because this is almost like a primer color anyways. Do you have to have one of those to be able to sand a dresser? Can you just use a sanding block just for anybody that wants to maybe repurpose, refinish yeah. something at home? Your, you can get like a little sanding block and do it yourself, but this is just like... You're going to cut on time uh, doing that. You're going to cut... <laughs> probably like a day's worth of sanding there are people that might not have that and if they want to refurnish a dresser or a piece of furniture they don't have to have that they can obviously use a sanding block or right. something else so, and like one of the easiest things to do is like if you prime, like if you want to refinish something like this one it was already like an oak finish you can always put a primer over it give it like a really fine sanding to make it nice and smooth then paint it. It's already like a primer gray or like a battleship gray color so like just sand it, knock off the rough edges and then just paint it. Gotcha. Okay.
like work up an appetite. I also want to say thank you so much to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. So I grabbed one of my Built Bars, which is actually perfect for me right now because I had a really extreme workout. I say extreme, it's extreme to me, but I had a really good workout yesterday and I can definitely tell today like my muscles are needing a little extra protein for some recovery, but I love these so much. You guys have heard me rave about these all the time now. They, I talk about these on my Instagram too. They're protein bars, but to me, they're like the healthiest chocolate bars that I could eat because they taste exactly like that. But the best part is they are zero guilt, 100% chocolate. If you guys hear anything in the back, Frank is currently working out. 17, well this one has 17 grams of protein, which I don't have to drink a nasty chalky protein drink. I can just eat one of these. Only four grams of sugar and it is 130 calories. You really cannot beat that. But more importantly is there are no preservatives, which is also very important to me as well. So they currently have 18 different flavors. Some of my favorites is the cookies and cream. And then I also like the salted caramel one as well. This one is coconut. So the best thing that I can compare this to is if you like the Mounds chocolate bars, you will absolutely love these because that's it tastes almost exactly like that but you're not getting all the sugars and calories and everything by eating that. Let me show you guys, this is what it looks like. It's literally, it's like this chewy, yummy goodness. I'll actually sometimes have those as a late night snack. I crave sugar so much at night and after dinner. I'm trying to eat healthier, I'm trying to be healthier. So I'll just usually grab a Bilt Bar and have that as my snack and it fills me up, I'm satisfied, and I don't feel as guilty for eating it. So if you guys want to try out Bilt Bars, if you have not tried them yet, if you have, I'm actually interested to know what your favorite flavors are, please leave those down below. But if you guys haven't tried them and want to, I do have a code that you guys can use anytime. It is Moro's 10 and a link will be down in the description. All right, so we got this all nice and sanded for the most part. These bees though, you guys, are flying around everywhere and it's freaking me out. Actually, those don't bother me as much, but I don't do bugs or bees. Um, but like I was saying, we pretty much got them all sanded and smoothed out. So I think it's about time to start painting. So are you guys ready to see this paint color? Well, you can already see it right there, but I am so excited for this color. I have been seeing a lot of inspiration on Pinterest. That's where I get a lot of my um, inspiration and home ideas from, and I've been seeing this like beautiful sage color everywhere, like accent walls, everything. So I was like, okay, I have a different project in mind that will be a future video that I can use this paint, but I wanted to use it for the dresser as well. So let me go ahead and show you guys because I'm really, really excited. I'm going to have to stir it because it's kind of settled a little bit, but here's the color. It's the perfect most gorgeous sage green that I could find when we went to Lowe's that I liked. It is by Valspar. We got a satin finish and the color, let me tell you guys, it's called Prickly Pear, which is such a cute name. So I'm gonna stir it, I'm gonna get my paint in here ready and then we will be good to go for painting the dresser. Getting ready to paint. It is all primed. I might actually have to, hold on. So before I get to painting, I'm actually gonna wipe this off really good because there's still paint dust all over it. Actually, I think it might need some more sanding. It still feels a little bit rough in some spots. Yeah, you have to go back over it a little bit. We're 
gonna get inside the garage and paint in here. Plus, it's a lot cooler in here too. The sun made it so hot. Oh my God, the paint is already drying in the thing. Wow. That's how hot it is. I just sat in a pool of water. dry really quickly before I do a second coat I actually did two coats on the top and then I just need to do two more on the sides and the front and then I haven't gotten to the drawers yet but speaking of which I think Amazon just dropped off the knobs for the dresser so let's go ahead and open it up all right so here are the knobs that I picked out they are gold actually hold on let me open it and then I'll show you this is what they look like they are hexagon knobs I think this would be really pretty with the green color. So I got 16 of those, which is the perfect amount of knobs that we'll need to cover the whole dresser. Okay, so fast forward to the next day so remember how i told you guys we were thinking about covering these up to put knobs just single knobs on each side instead of having the two because i couldn't find pools for this measurement how about i'll let you right. explain because you're so, the one that did <laughs> so what i did was told Brittany just to go ahead and paint it that way you you still have a good coverage on the outside and the only thing that we're really going to be painting is like this right here but you take so like the hole was a quarter inch, so you take a quarter inch dowel, put it in the hole, glue it in, and then you take a little, like a flat saw, and you cut off both ends, and then you sand it down, and you wood fill, and you're pretty much good. So why didn't we use just wood fill? Uh, the hole was too big. Like if you went to press it, like now you can press it and it's not gonna go nowhere. Oh, I but see. But if you used like wood filler, and if you pressed it, it doesn't matter how hard it is, you'll leave an indention. Oh, okay, well I guess that's good to know too. So, um, I guess I could have waited to paint, right? But uh, it's okay, yeah. but it's okay. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's not really gonna like hurt anything. So this one's completely done, right? And this one's uh, ready to be painted again? I gotta sand it and make sure everything's like nice and flat. This is the dowel that Frank used. Kind of like when you're putting furniture together, you know those little wooden pegs that come in with this like the same thing. things? That's kind of what it reminds me of. So he put that in there, sawed off the excess wood. You did put a little bit of wood filler to just kind of fill in just a little bit in there. You can see it in this drawer because Frank hasn't oh, sawed them off, off or cut them off yet, but you can see what we're talking about. Then you're going to drill a hole after that for the knob, correct? Yeah. I feel like it's got little, little pieces of the hole there, but if you rub your finger across it, it's nice and smooth. So you just wood fill where the cracks are and then you're good. So like over here, But yeah, that one's all messed up. What 
after I filled in the holes, because like you can still see like a little ring, which is okay. I kind of cut the distance in half, and on the other uh, set of drawers, I actually squared everything out and got my measurements, and I remember everything. So that's all I'm doing now is going back in and doing my measurements. It's pretty nice. easy. And then you'll just drill the hole. Yeah. We'll put the, the hole, knob in. Put the knob in. Throw it back in there. We're and good no to one's, go. No one's gonna have a dress it before at the end of the day. So we finally got Nolan's dresser in here, got it all set up. Actually, he got it all set up. He put everything on there. I did move this picture down because it was all the way up here, but everything was able to fit into his new dresser. He has got his pajama bottoms in there, his shorts in here, his pants in here. And here we have some slippers, all of his winter and summer hats. And then in here we have braces and underwear, socks and bathing suits. In there but it actually looks so good in his room it matches his rug a little bit right here if you guys can see there's a little bit of green in his rug and then it also matches his little poster his little dinosaur over here it just looks so good in here and he can actually reach everything now this is like the perfect height for him as well and I'm just so happy with how it turned out I know I didn't get to show you guys but Frank after he drilled all the holes obviously he put all the knobs in those look so Good. I was a little bit nervous with the previous two holes and the pools being right there, how this is going to look, but Frank and his idea of doing the dowels and the wood fill and everything turned out amazing. And I'm also going to give myself a little pat on the back myself because this was my first furniture project with sanding and painting and all of that and obviously a little bit of help from Frank, but I, like I said, love how it turns out and Nolan loves it too. But that is gonna wrap it up for this DIY project video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm super excited for our next project. If it's not our next project, it will definitely be the one after that when you guys will see this color again and my ideas with that. But I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to support us. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and we'll see you in our next one. Bye guys.